standing at the crossroads, crossroads. Remember that place? <laughs> Would you look at that? Oh my God, that's cozy. Ho, 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 ho. Anywho, so today is the day before New Year's and I wasn't planning on making a video today, but I got such a nice comment last night. So I just, I just gotta get this, get this done. I have a lot of clips and I'm kind of always waiting for the time to make them into a proper video. It's never gonna be proper. Okay, see, I, I just gotta share this piece of automation that I've been working on and I can't believe how well it's working considering I've only been at it for like a day, maybe a day and a half. It's, it's ridiculous. And of course, you don't have a reference to how many clicks and how much work it normally is to prepare a part for cutting and bending. Anyway, let me show you this piece of automation that I've been working on. This is UiPath, amazing software. There's other similar other ones too, but anyway, let's not talk about that right now. It's running in the background. So all I'm gonna do is import a step file. Let's go ahead and take this one. I'm gonna need to choose which side is up. And when I've done that, it takes over. I don't need to touch it, basically, almost. I'll show you. So it's gonna be working. It's gonna make the flat pattern. It's gonna save the file name. It's gonna add the material and the thickness of this piece into the file name. It's gonna choose where to save the file in the database, the Amada database. I need to confirm by pressing enter. It's saving it and that while that's doing that this bending program in the background it's changing all the na layer names inside of that dxf file so what i can do here on the kimla is import that dxf and you're gonna see two stages generated i go into cam voila there's my stages so what happens if i just press start now Vacuum starts, opens the vacuum zones. It's gonna run that, I'm gonna stop it. It's gonna run that program and produce that part. It's asking me to continue, yes. I put that in just in case there was an error, then I wanna make sure that I'm not gonna do anything crazy. And it's gonna close that file, open up the file browser, allow me to select the next one. I kid you not. Let's say it had cut that piece down. It's gonna be chamfered on both sides. It, there could be counter sinks, there could be tapped holes, doesn't matter. I go to the bender, I go to list, I go to here and let's see. There's our piece. I press okay, it's loading the bending program. I can just go ahead and bend it following the screen. Are you kidding me? How many seconds is that? I import the step file, choose which side is up, and it just goes off. Seconds later, I have the DXF file, I import it, the tool paths are done, I press go, it activates everything, it starts cutting, straight over to there, bending program is already there, Go ahead and bend it. Done. What? RPA, if you don't know what that is, robotic process automation is like robots for software. Look it up. You're going to love it. As a sneak peek, I just got to show you this. Uh, let's see here. So this is Fusion 360. I'm about to export some G code for the machine. And look at this. I've added this custom. Use the suction foot. That's the, that thing. If I click enable vacuum zone control, then that allows me to activate the four different zones for this specific program. I can turn off the vacuum pumps when I finish or deactivate all zones. 
And those are just G codes that are being read by PC Cam. Monsters. Noise. One of those small things I really love is this. It's running. Press the stop button, it goes up, I can jog it away, I can have a look at the stuff, oh my god, it looks perfect, yada yada, and I go back and I just press the start button, and off I go. That's surprisingly uncommon. Yeah, damn, this thing fills up nicely, all the way to the top. So I had this machine for a while now and this is truly one of the things I really appreciate. It's, I don't feel like coming to work today and I'm in a mood but cutting a whole sheet like this and just removing the skeleton and being able to just stack these. No chips anywhere, no need to, to deburr anything. Just take this straight to the bender and be done with it. Love it. Here's uh, what a linear motor looks like. And these are some powerful magnets in there. Oh. And the Renisha digital scale, you can hardly see it, but there's the end of it. Can you imagine that thing having a nanometer for resolution? How, how does that even happen? This will never get old. Making a bunch of these out of a scrap piece. Completely done except for the M3 thread I need to put in there. Otherwise, chamfered on both sides. With the... Uh, Cutting tool. Oh, it's so nice. I'm happy. Pretty funky, eh? Ooh la la. Hold your, close your eyes, cause there's, it's a mess here. Anyway, so I've got a office now. 